Quick question to start this episode off, guys. This collector's pack from Canon 97 Star Wars Return of the Jedi, should I have picked it up? So we're back on the American side, we're in Plattsburgh for the long Easter weekend, and the original plan for the game hunting and toy hunting was to go to all the pawn shops, the thrift shops, the little consignment places that they have in Plattsburgh. It's all on these two streets, but because it was Easter weekend, a lot of these mom and pop shops uh, just closed and they were taking the four days off for themselves. There was two stores that I really wanted to go into. It said that it had all of your retro needs and they had games from Atari 2600 to today. So right away I was really excited to go there but the place was closed. So hopefully uh, next time we get to the States which is you know once a month once every two months I'll be able to check that place out. I was really looking forward to that. I, I should have taken a picture of the store but uh, I saw it at a stoplight and when I had come back later it was closed and it was kind of just like oh well on to the next place for now. So our first stop was Grizzly's Gift and Toys. This is in Plattsburgh obviously. Uh, they've really stepped up their game. This used to be kind of uh, like a hole in the wall but lately it's very clean, organized, a little pricier but you can still find cool stuff. And uh, it sped up a little bit, but I'm so happy my daughter's crawling all over the house now. So in their display case, uh, SNES, NES, they had some Game Boy stuff. You know, really reasonably priced. Uh, I wish I'd come back and picked up some N64 games, but the baby was being a little fussy, so I had to leave a lot in the shelves. Ten bucks for PS4 games, you know, even with the exchange, depending on the title, pretty good prices. This is uh, Second Hand Treasures, I think this place is called. Uh, they're usually better with their pricing, but uh, today a lot of things were 10 bucks each. Lucky that a few of these places were open. This is the big thrift pawn consignment place that I come to regularly. And what I like about this place is, uh, first of all, the prices are really great. There's always a variety, and the booths have a good turnaround rate. Uh, even, you know, we go, like I mentioned, once or twice a month, you know, uh, every other month. There's always, you know, five to ten new booths, and there's always something new to see. Now, the good booths last, because these are the people that go out to yard sales and flea markets, and they keep filling their shelves. What I like, like I mentioned, is there's always new booths. People will sell out their stuff, one-time sellers, and a new person will move in with their own things. Being consignment though, you can't really haggle with anyone because the price that's on it is usually the price that's set. Some will leave their numbers, but a lot of booths don't. So, question time. We haven't done one in a while. Let me know, let me hear it down in the comments what you think. $14 for a GameCube. Sounds pretty good, especially with a game in it, right? But here's the rub. No controller, no wires. Would you buy it? Yes or no? Why or why not? Again, put it down in the comments, guys. I'd love to hear your take on it. Damn it. That's why sometimes it's good to go shopping with a hunting partner. A Stanley Cup! A little Stanley Cup! I missed it! Comics and records seem to be kind of coming back, at least from what I see in flea markets. 16 bucks for a reprint of the original Amazing Tales with Spider-Man on it. You know, nothing I would spend money on, but it's good to see a lot of comics and records coming back. Here's another little display case with toys on it, very reasonably priced like I mentioned. Uh, this place is great. The only thing though with these ones you can't take it out and hold it, you gotta go ask them for the key. Now if you've been watching the channel at all and especially in the last couple of months, you see that the channel is starting to branch out not only for video games but also uh, toys. I've been doing a new series for obscure toy lines where I find old commercials of toys from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Stuff that you may not remember and we talk about them and you know reminisce a little bit. So for me, uh, I'm, I've always been into toys. This is nothing new, just new for the channel. Running into G1 Transformers for under $5 is always a pickup for me. So this uh, runabout, run amok, uh, remember these guys, the Transformers that you pull back and then they transform, they come with a gun. He didn't have his weapon, but to see that toy, again, you got the, the flash, the good feelings of nostalgia when you were a kid, because I remember having both of these Decepticons. Nope. Nope. I'm not saying anything. I'm not getting into politics. I'm not Canadian. I'm not American. I don't care. This is an old Mickey Mouse a Disney chalkboard. I remember having these in like nursery and kindergarten. Dallas and I were talking about it. She remembers having these playing school when she was a little girl. Speaking of little girls, Arkham's helping me 
organize my PS4 games. <clears throat> the only thing bad about this Michael Jackson record is its price. Five bucks for this lunch box for the early 80s GoBots. That's what it goes for, but I wanted it. I'm sure there's a collector's market for these items, and you know, believe me, they were pretty cool and they were in fantastic shape. They were all Burger King collector's cups from the 80s, Star Wars, different uh, Hanna-Barbera characters. Found a couple of boxes sealed of uh, hockey cards too, two and six dollars. Picked them up. K.O. And now, a Jordy Kong moment. Better tell the viewers that that's my find. NXT belt, six bucks. I found it. But you ain't buying one though. No, I'm not. Why not? Because I'm not the NXT champion. Mm -hmm. I ain't as good as I once was. You got warrants, that's why. So we run out to Walmart and Target at about 9.30 at night. The only two places open on the Easter weekend uh, that late hours too. We're running out to get some uh, chocolates for the kids and just to actually look in the clearance and liquidation sections. Now we came across these NXT belts and for $6, why wouldn't you buy one? Now I really loved Voltron as a kid. I used to watch it all the time. I saw this on liquidation and I went to it right away thinking it was going to be a good price, but it was $50. To me, that's that's a high price, right? Still? Yeah? Do I? Huh? So do I. I do. Cool. Look at all of them. Huh? Guardians, Halo, Pixar. I'm sure it's a combination of the two, but we always check clearance in the liquidation aisle because we want a great deal and, uh, you know, we just don't want to spend a lot of money. Nothing too great this time, though. Looking back, I don't know why I didn't grab this. It was only $7.50 Street Fighter. It was about Ryu and Ken and Akuma looked cool on the back. I did pick up for under $3. Night of the Living Dead, yeah, I know it's uh, public domain, but there was five extra movies on it. Ghostbusters, their liquidation pre-used stuff in Walmart, actually decent, under $10. These were on sale for 5 bucks. I have one already, but I figure I'd pick up another one. Maybe I can sell it at that retro show in May. This box has been long since devoured, but it was sent to me by a great YouTuber, and I really appreciate it. Shout out to Oliver, the Retro Game Boy. He sent me this cereal. He's running a contest. I think you may have a chance to win the last box, but he was giving away five boxes of Mario cereal just because he knew how hard it was for people in Canada and more of the northern states to find. So one of his winners never claimed their prize. So he messaged me and said, uh, hey, I, I know you were interested in the cereal. Would you like me to send it to you? So, of course, I said yes. He sent it to me. My daughter and I ate the whole box. It was delicious. And uh, I just got to say thanks again, Oliver. We really appreciate it. Oliver does some really interesting pickup videos, and he reviews a lot of games. An excellent channel, startup channel to check out. And what would a video game and toy hunting video be without the obligatory at the end of the video showing you everything I got? Let's do the free stuff first. My brother-in-law Ian gave me a Marilyn Mew puck from the Genesis game in the 90s. Awesome. And speaking of the free stuff, Dallas bought me a Sega Genesis flashback just because she's awesome. Bowman 91 sealed the complete set. $2 in the box. I thought that was pretty cool. Had to grab it. And right next to it for $6, I'm a huge Marilyn Mew fan, so I don't know if I ever want to open it. Leaf Hockey 94. A lunchbox, I had this as a child, GoBots lunchbox from 1984, comes with the thermos, $5. Transformers Battle Chargers from 1986, this is Runabout, picked them up for 4 bucks. A bunch of SNES sports titles, all $2, Troy Aikman football, Super Battleship, eh, I don't know if we call it a sports title, but it was thrown in that same box. And then Super Battle Tank. Again, two dollars. I'll pick them up. You got it. No, I'm not even gonna try and sing that. Transformers the movie. Two dollars fifty cents. Why not? And again, for under three dollars, the Night of the Living Dead comes with five bonus movies. Great, great movie. 
Another Walmart buy, the 200 in 1 Retro Arcade, $5, it was on sale. The NXT belt from Target, $6. Of course, Jordy got one too, wound up buying him one. Stopped in at GameStop. They actually have a lot of good things on sale. The Think Geek Mass Effect Omni Tool was on sale, $13.50. Voltron t shirt, again from Walmart, picked this up for $4. They have the best cheap shirts there. And just a funny shirt, the guy and gal are getting married, it says game over, could work for either gamer, $4. And that's going to do it for this episode guys, thank you so much for watching it and sticking right to the end. If you like what you saw and you're new to the channel, maybe hit that subscribe button or click one of the videos on the left to watch more Locksness Monster. Until next time guys, I'm out of here, take care.